Southeast Asia, also known as Indochina. Mysterious, exotic, unspoiled, is opening its doors to the world. And at the heart of Southeast Asia lies the Mekong River. Starting in China, it flows through Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, and Vietnam, before finally emptying into the South China Sea 3,000 miles later. It is the focus of farming, fishing, and transportation for the whole region. It connects not just countries and commerce, but also diverse cultures and history. And the river journey along the Mekong Delta through Vietnam and Cambodia offers far greater insights and experiences than any other way of exploring these unique lands. Our lovely new RV Indochine had her inaugural voyage in October 2008. She carries a maximum of only 46 passengers, catered to by a wonderful crew of 29. With her ultra-shallow draft, she can navigate the untamed sections of the mighty Mekong, largely inaccessible to bigger vessels. She offers air conditioning pampering and sails to places unreachable by car or motor coach. Our expedition ship explores the vast but little known regions between the bustling city of Saigon, Vietnam, and the ancient Khmer city of Angkor, located in the jungles near Siem Rep, Cambodia. Your sailing adventure will begin in Saigon, or Ho Chi Minh City, as it is called today. After an overnight flight, you will enjoy a good night's rest at a luxurious hotel thoughtfully chosen with your comfort in mind. The following morning, you will be met by our friendly English-speaking guide who will take you to see many of the city's highlights. You will tour the presidential palace. You will stop to view the beautiful post office built by Gustav Eiffel and the magnificent Notre Dame Cathedral next door. You will end your first impression of the city with a delightful water puppet show, followed by lunch at a riverside restaurant. Then it's time to board your Indochine, which you will call home for the next 10 days. Enjoy a welcome drink, and after your luggage has been delivered to your cabin, why not take a tour around your new floating hotel? The RV Indochine was built in a colonial style reflecting the resplendent era of yesteryears. There are Burmese teakwood accents throughout, beginning with your spacious 170 square foot cabin with twin beds that can be converted into a queen. Large picture windows, and a private bathroom with lovely modern fixtures. On the main deck is the dining room with one sitting for all, featuring wall-to-wall -wall windows so you will never miss any of the wonderful scenery while dining. The upper deck has ample space for sunning or relaxing in the shade in our comfortable lounge chairs. The open area is where you can appreciate the passing scenery to the fullest. Our large air-conditioned lounge has comfortable seating with panoramic views, and our friendly bartender is always eager to serve you a cold beer or an exotic tropical drink. Best of all, non-alcoholic beverages, water, coffee, and tea are always free. The next morning is reserved for an excursion to the infamous Coochie Tunnels the elaborate 220 kilometer long network of underground tunnels that the Viet Cong built during the Vietnam War. These tunnels, running in depth from three to 12 meters below ground, were used as a hiding place, a storage area, living quarters, schools, a hospital, and as a communication and supply route, a true underground city. Today, a section of the tunnels have been preserved by the Vietnamese government as a war memorial. For the adventurous and the flexible, 
you will have a chance to crawl through a 50 meter section that has been especially remodeled for visitors and the young at heart. Return to Ho Chi Minh City for lunch and then get ready for fun time. Riding through rush hour traffic in your own pedicab with your own personal driver. Mr. Toad's wild ride at Disneyland doesn't come close. Back on board, marvel at the multitude of evening party boats that traverse the river as you enjoy a relaxed dinner in our air-conditioned dining room. Set sail at sunrise, cruising up the Mekong River through the delightful Vietnamese countryside. Get your cameras and binoculars ready to see the sights. The fishing boats, the children, the villages along the river, all authentic sites of remote rural Vietnam. Each day, you will have an included guided shore excursion for a close-up hands-on experience in some of these hidden charming villages that are virtually untouched by mass tourism. One day, you will travel through the Mito floating markets to see just how much the Mekong is an integral part of daily life. Vegetables, fruits, and many other wares are for sale, and always the industrious, smiling Vietnamese people. You will savor this opportunity to be immersed in the action yourself. Go ashore via a tender boat docking right at the riverbank, and if there is no wooden dock there, your crew will carve one out for you. And once ashore, you might walk a short distance to board a smaller boat to venture through the narrow canals, just like Indiana Jones or some other great explorer. Another day, you will visit an orchard nursery, a lacquer factory, a coconut candy factory, where you will get free samples. And of course, especially for the ladies, there are always unique shopping experiences such as the Sadek open air market. But don't forget to bargain. And every time you return to your ship, you will be greeted with a refreshing towel and a big smile. Then it's time to bid farewell to Vietnam as you cross the border into Cambodia. A highlight of Cambodia is a visit to the regal capital city of Phnom Penh. A full two days are spent here, allowing for plenty of time for guided sightseeing and individual pursuits. The Royal Palace complex, with its lovely manicured lawns and unusual rooftops, is mesmerizing. Consisting of the Imperial Palace, the National Museum, and several other temples, the most prominent of which is the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, commonly called the Silver Pagoda due to the solid silver floor. There are also many fun things to do in Phnom Penh. Enjoy a drink at the famous Foreign Correspondents Club. Shop till you drop at the Russian market. Or best of all, take a wild tuk-tuk ride down Phnom Penh's Riverside Cornishia. While at sail, there's always something to do on board as well. Attend a history lesson given by one of our knowledgeable local guides. Watch a fruit carving demonstration. Enjoy a drink with new friends, or just relax on the deck. And you will love the children's dance group as they perform gentle Cambodian Apsara dances for you. Passenger participation is welcome. Of course, meals are always a high point to any vacation. You will not be disappointed with the great Asian-inspired cuisine balanced with some good old American chow now and then. Our waitstaff is impeccable 
in their service and their desire to please you. And before our river journey ends, everyone will enjoy the festive captain's farewell dinner with its fine dining and party atmosphere. The end of China is a wonderful vessel. I recommend it to anybody. And the margaritas <laughs> are the best in the world, especially. As your cruise portion of the program reaches its end, it is time to bid your wonderful crew goodbye. But it's not yet the end of your travel adventure. As you head on out to Siem Rep, home to the fabulous temples of Angkor Wat. After settling into your luxurious hotel, enjoy a quick introduction to this once sleepy town that with the discovery of the temples is quickly becoming a world-class resort. You will love its young and vibrant population, the lively pub street with its many bars and restaurants, and its all-night open-air market. The next day is reserved for exploring the Angor Temple sites. Built around 1100 AD, the temples were once the capital of the mighty Khmer Empire, which ruled vast portions of what are today Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam. However, by the 15th century, the kingdom died down, and the city of Angkor and its temples were slowly covered by jungle until lost to civilization. Rediscovered at the end of the 19th century, the jungle was cleared over the next 70 years to reveal the eighth wonder of the world, and now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Thanks to actress Angelina Jolie and the Tomb Raider movies, the temples of Angkor Wat now rival the Egyptian pyramids in both fame and fortune. Your full day of sightseeing will cover several of the major portions of the vast temple area, including unique sites such as the Elephant Terrace, and the Jungle Temple, so named because it had been left in its natural jungle surroundings, with huge, sturdy banyan trees interwined around the ancient stone. After a break for lunch, you will continue touring the imposing main Angkor Wat temples. At the end of the tour, you may want to consider taking the optional tethered balloon ride, which will lift you 200 feet into the air for stupendous views of the perfectly symmetrical temples. The night, end the day and your Khmer experience with a delightful farewell dinner and Apsara folk performance. As you dine on delicious Cambodian delicacies, you will be entertained with the colorful traditional dance and music performance. But alas, as all good things must come to an end, it is finally time to pack away your memories as you head on home, but with an experience of a lifetime. We've, we've had a lot of uh, really, really upbeat, positive reaction to this ship in particular, the RV Indochine. Uh, people like the fact that it's a smaller than even normal river cruising ship, only 24 cabins. They've been uh, very impressed with the staff. The food has been excellent. There have been a lot of comments about the good food. I've heard uh, them, them uh, remark positively about the spaciousness of the cabins and um, comparatively large amount of public spaces for such a small ship. Uh, have a very nice sun deck that we're on right now. Uh, lounge and the dining room and a few other places where you can go in small groups and, and sit and enjoy the life along the river. We hope that with this short movie we have been able to show you just a glimpse of the wonderful landscapes, unspoiled nature, cultural contrasts, and the warm and gentle people of the Mekong Delta. And as with all of our worldwide river cruises, we hope that our careful planning, pacing of itineraries, all-inclusive meals and sightseeing, combined with the best value that money can buy, will entice you to join us in the very near future. We sincerely look forward to the pleasure of your company. <laughs>